the Vikings and Cardinals because right now they're both clawing for a chance to get into the playoffs. I didn't even think the Vikings were were in contention to be in the playoffs, but they sneaked up on this. Right now, this is the current playoff tree in the NFC. The Saints are in it, the Packers, the Rams, the Giants, those are the division winners. The wild card teams are the Seahawks, the Buccaneers, and the Vikings, not the Cardinals anymore. The Cardinals really kind of just messed this up. And, and the Vikings came out of nowhere. I, I thought they were gonna be a they were gonna get a top 10 pick in the draft this season. They're talented, but their defense is really bad. I will give credit though, Dantzler has been playing pretty good. But this is their remaining schedule. And it, this is just the wire card teams that are in the hunt. The Vikings and Cardinals are both six and six. The 49ers are five and six. The Bears are five and seven. And the Lions are five and seven. I think it's safe to say the Lions and the Bears won't make it. The 49ers, they have a chance. They face the Bills tonight. If they lose that game, I think it's pretty safe to say they won't make it. So I think it's between the Vikings and Cardinals. The Vikings' schedule is the Buccaneers, the Bears, the Saints, and the Lions. The Cardinals' schedule is the Giants, Eagles, 49ers, and Rams. I'm going to be honest here. I see three losses. I see two losses for the Vikings, the Buccaneers and Saints. I only see two wins, the Bears and Lions, if that. So I think they finish 8-8. Eight and eight. The Cardinals have the Giants, Eagles, 49ers, and Rams. The Giants is a tough one. That's a trap game. I think they beat the Eagles. I think they beat the 49ers. And the Rams, that's 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 tough. It really just depends on, you know, where you have the Cardinals. Do you have them beating the Giants as well? Then they'd be 9-7. and seven. I think this is going to be a tough race. If they finish 8-8, eight and eight, I'm pretty sure the Vikings have the tiebreaker and they get in the playoffs. So the Cardinals have to win three of these games. They both have pretty tough schedules, but one team is rolling and one team isn't. The Vikings have won three of their last four. The Cardinals have lost three straight. And it's kind of weird because the Vikings have a middle-of-the-pack offense. They have a bottom-20 defense. And the Cardinals have a, a pretty good offense, I think like a top-12 offense, and a top-15 defense. And they're about to miss the playoffs. They're about to miss the playoffs. The Cardinals got all this hype. I actually had them finishing 9-7 and seven before the season. They had all this hype going into the season, but something has been offered them. They've been losing too many close games. They lost to the Rams. It was a close game before Henderson took that run to the house. It was a close game. Ultimately, I think the Cardinals make the playoffs, but wow, this, this should not have been a, as tight of a race as, it been, as, as it's been. And I think the fact that the Vikings are even in this, because people forget that the Vikings blew a game to the Seahawks that they should have won and to the Cowboys. They should be 8-4 and four right now. People really underappreciate Kirk Cousins because he's a really good quarterback. And I know, like, if you ask people around who's better, Kyler Murray or Kirk Cousins, most people would say Kyler. They wouldn't even think twice about it. But honestly, you should think twice about it. Is Kyler really better than Kirk Cousins? As a passer, I think Kirk is better. What makes Kyler, what separates Kyler to most people is his running ability. But Kyler has been struggling against these better defenses. He's been struggling. I don't know. It's going to be a close race. I ultimately think that the Cardinals will, will make it, though. I think the Cardinals will make the playoffs. Let me know who you guys think will make the playoffs in, in the comments.